What's up guys? Nerd with Attitude here. I'm pretty upset and heartbroken right now. Upset with doomsayers and heartbroken for the people that they scare. For the past two hours, I've been talking to someone who is extremely overwhelmed and suicidal because of all the doom. It really bugs me that they that these false prophets and fear mongers play victim and do not care about the people their false prophecies and doom affect. They are pretending to do God's work, but they really don't give a shit. All they care about is feeling important. I want to read you guys something here. This is from someone in um, our Doomsday Debunk group. Uh, he first started this post on Sunday and it says, this has to be the worst year of my life. For about four months, I've been having really bad anxiety every single day thanks to all this Doomsday bullshit. Every day I have to deal with this looming sense of doom and these feelings of fear, nervousness, and paranoia. I also have to deal with feeling sick to my stomach and throwing up whenever I feel like this. Like I've said, this has been going on for four months now and I've tried medication and gone to therapy, but I still haven't gotten better. Because of all this, I've been having suicidal thoughts and I've come pretty close to killing myself several times. I just feel so hopeless right now. I want this to stop already. And then in the comments, he says, I really could use some support right now. I need advice, good vibes, anything that might help me get through this horrible period of my life. The reason I've been contemplating suicide is because I've become so desperate to the point where I'm willing to try anything to get all this to stop. Then two hours ago, he says, bit of an update here. My anxiety has gotten a little worse and now I'm just throwing up constantly. Thanks to this, I'm also having suicidal thoughts again. If anybody if anyone else can provide more support, I could really use it right now. I just feel so miserable right now. So I've been talking to him, um, trying to figure out ways to help him. Um, he just promised me that if he felt really suicidal, if he got to that point where he felt like he was going to do something to hurt himself, he said he would go to the emergency room. I told him, you know, you can go over there and they'll give you medication to calm you down and maybe they'll find somewhere for for him to go for a little bit until he can, you know, not be so overwhelmed anymore. It is very, very frustrating. It breaks my heart so much right now. Being an empath, I don't have to be around people to feel what they feel. This just breaks my heart. It really does. I've been on the verge of tears for the past hour because I'm on the internet, you know, and it's not like I can go to this person to be with them, to try to help to calm them down. It breaks my heart. It really does. And the worst part about it is, like I said, the people that are doing this claim to be extremely religious and they're using the Bible to scare people. And they act like what they're doing is a good thing. Year after year after year after year, nothing happens. Every time. But that doesn't stop them. 
How can you claim to be religious and doing God's work when all you're doing is scaring people? That's it. I'm very rarely at a loss for words. Very, very rarely at a loss for words. And right now, I'm at a loss for words. I don't get what they get out of doing this to people. And then they pretend that it's not happening. They pretend that they're not hurting people. They pretend that they're not scaring people, that everything they're doing is God's work. And it's not. Before I go, I just want to say this. If you're out there and you're afraid, reach out to somebody, talk to somebody. We have Doomsday Debunk groups on Facebook. All you have to do is type in Doomsday Debunk. And no matter what we're called, no matter how we're treated, called trolls and attacked and all this kind of stuff, it makes it worth it when when you know why you're doing it it makes it very much worth it there's a reason why we do what we do and it's worth it to me i don't care what anybody has to say about me because i know my heart and i know why i'm doing this i know exactly why i'm doing this and it hurts it hurts me to just see people's whole lives are, are just thrown out of the window because they're terrified. I really didn't mean to get very emotional, but sometimes you just have to get it off your chest. Sometimes you just have to say how you feel. And right now, I'm extremely pissed off and heartbroken. You guys have a wonderful day or night. Bye. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me.